Montagia fracture. Introduction. Montagia fracture is not a simple fracture. It is a fracture of the proximal ulna with dislocation of the radial head. It can happen in children and adults. It is one of the most common injuries missed in the emergency room in children. The radial head may be dislocated or subluxed, and this problem may not be clear on the x-rays. If this injury is missed, then the child will probably need a big surgery to deal with this big problem. The treatment of this fracture depends on the age of the patient. In general, in pediatric patients, you will do close reduction of the ulna and close reduction of the radial head. In adult patients, you will do open reduction internal fixation of the ulna with dorsal plate and close reduction of the radial head. The line drawn from the proximal radius should bisect the capitellum in all X-ray views. And if you are in doubt and not sure, get X-rays of the other side and compare. Always examine the patient for posterior interosseous nerve injury. The most common type is anterior montagia. That means the apex of the fracture is anteriorly and the radial head goes anteriorly. Just make it a practice when you have a fracture of the proximal ulna. Look at the radius and the radial head and see the position of the radial head in relationship to the capitellum. The anterior montagia is more common in children. Posterior montagia constitutes 70 to 80 percent of montagia fractures in adults. That concludes the introduction. Now we go to types of montagia. There are four types of montagia. Montagia fracture is classified according to the direction of displacement of the radial head. The radial head has two relations, relation with the capitellum and relation with the proximal radioulnar joint. When the radial head subluxes or dislocates, it subluxes or dislocates from these two joints. The radial head becomes free. That means the radius is not connected to the capitellum or to the superior radioulnar joint. Type 1, a fracture of the middle or the proximal third of the ulna with anterior dislocation of the radial head and it has the characteristic that the apex of the ulnar fracture is anteriorly. It is the most common of all types, especially in children. It's about 60%. In children, reduce the fractured ulna and reduce the dislocation of the radial head and immobilize the elbow in flexion and supination. When you flex the elbow, especially more than 90 degrees, you will relax the biceps. Type 2, the posterior type, and it is called posterior montagia. Posterior montagia is the most common type in adults. It is associated with a higher complication rate and carries the worst prognosis. It is about 15% of Montagia. It is fracture of the middle or the proximal third of the ulna with posterior dislocation of the radial head. It has the characteristic of the apex of the fracture is posterior. Immobilize the elbow in extension. Type 3, lateral montagia. It's about 20%. Fracture of the proximal ulna with lateral dislocation of the radial head. Type 4 is a rare type. It's about 5%. It 
Fracture of the proximal ulna with anterior dislocation of the radial head and fracture of the proximal third of the radius below the bicipital tuberosity. Patient will need surgery, even in children. In this case, the radial head is dislocated and you also have fracture of the radius and the ulna. The posterior osseous nerve. The posterior osseous nerve is adjacent to the radial neck, placing it at risk for a traction injury with dislocation of the proximal radius. So you will do neurovascular exam. Nerve injury, which involves the posterior osseous nerve, is not uncommon. Ask the patient to hitch hike and extend the fingers. Make sure the wrist is in dorsal flexion when you ask the patient to extend the fingers. In posterior interosseous nerve injury, the finger extensors will not be working. What do you do if the posterior interosseous nerve is injured? Observe with the patient. In case of posterior interosseous nerve injury in Montagia fracture, you reduce and destabilize the fracture and reduce the radial head dislocation. Observe the nerve. Do not explore the nerve. Typically, the nerve injury is neurobraxia. It can be expected to resolve itself with observation in 6 to 12 weeks. If not, you will do EMG and nerve studies after that period of observation. Contagia fracture in children. Please check carefully ulnar shaft fractures. Anytime that you have an ulnar shaft fracture or any fracture of the proximal ulna, check the radial head position. Make sure the radial head is reduced to the capitellum. Be aware that the subluxation may be subtle. Recognition of Montagia fracture in children is important. Early appropriate treatment is much easier than treating a missed radial head dislocation. Treatment Treatment in adult, open reduction and internal fixation of the ulna. When the ulna is probably aligned and fixed, the radial head will reduce by itself. After fixation of the ulna fracture, if the radial head is still not reduced, then assess the ulnar reduction. Check for male alignment or male reduction of the ulna. It is imperative you restore the length and the proper alignment of the ulna so the radial head can be reduced. If we male align the ulna, the radial head will remain subluxed. Radial head instability may be caused by non-anatomic reduction of the ulna or by interposition of the annular ligament. Fracture of the ulna may be too comminuted and it may not be reduced properly. It also may need bone graft later on for healing. There might be a Montagia variant associated with radial head fracture in addition to dislocation of the radial head. The radial head fracture is usually fixed or replaced. A prosthesis is used to replace the radial head in the elderly, especially if the fracture is comminuted. How about the treatment in children? The radial head ossifies around four years of age. In type 1, 2, and 3 Montagia fractures, you will do close reduction of the ulna to restore the length of the ulna, and you will do close reduction of the radial head. Close reduction is much more successful in young children. In anterior Montagia, you will immobilize the elbow in flexion and supination. In posterior Montagia, you will immobilize the elbow in extension. Ulnar fixation with a rod or a plate 
is needed in older patients with unstable fractures. Type 4 Fractures Surgery Surgery is also done in cases where we are unable to restore the proper length of the anna or we are unable to reduce the anna or unable to reduce the radial head. In this situation, we can use iron rod or a plate. Badu type 4 Montagia fracture in children. Dislocation of the radial head with fracture of both the radius and the ulnar shaft. You will do close reduction of the radial head with intramedullary fixation of the radius and the ulnar shaft fractures with intramedullary pin fixation of the radius and the ulnar shaft fractures. The radius and the ulnar shaft fractures are stabilized surgically to give a liver arm for reduction of the radial head. In this type of fracture, the radial head subluxation may be missed or unappreciated because the focus is usually on the forearm fractures. Treatment of neglected or missed Montagia fracture in children. How do you treat a missed or neglected Montagia fracture in children? You will do osteotomy of the ulna and lengthening with correction of the angulation and the reduction of the radial head in addition to plating of the ulna. The patient may need an open reduction of the radial head. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.